right, so actually it's very great, especially in the last three, four years, that there's a new initiative. I mean, for example, in our case, GPIMR, we've been like longer time, almost 10 years, so and we are, but each initiative is focused in different aspects, which is needed. We, we need this richness of initiatives. We need initiatives on the policy side, on, with public agencies, collaboration. We need initiatives on the research side. We need initiatives specific to drug development on a new antibiotic. We also need initiatives on the agricultural setting. So it's very nice to have this richness that are tackling different aspects. So the challenge is this structurization around the different challenges of antimicrobial resistance and the cross-collaboration, but we are really setting these first steps of this cross-collaboration, so I think we are in the good track. <laughs> So in GPIMR, what we are is a global platform of countries, of national countries, in this, at the moment 27 countries across the five continents, and our efforts are focused to reduce the burden of antimicrobial resistance, specifically in the area of research. So what we do is the coordination of research programs and research plan and research funding at national level, at European level, and actually globally. So we are really coordinating research funding and to support new funding schemes and new calls, like for example, now we just opened yesterday two new calls to support research in this area and to advance research knowledge in this area. I think it's a very needed action, so I'm very glad that it has started because we are mainly working in GPIMR with the research ministries and the research funding agencies. So it's very nice that the joint actions can group all the European public health agencies to hear from us. For us, for example, we are setting the research priorities that we can communicate and interact what the public health sector needs from research. So this interaction and this feeding in in, in the research agendas on the voice of public health agencies is very important. So internationally, people mostly talk about the need of a new antibiotic and very, very difficult to discover a new class of antibiotics. So we are working on supporting science on, on, on the discovery of new antibiotics. But I think it's more re neglected the One Health approach. The need, because actually the most burden of uh, antimicrobial resistance is in the environment. It comes from the agricultural health. So there's much more antibiotics given to animals than to humans. So this area of um, Animal health and environment is crucial and critical, and we need to put more efforts on that than rather traditionally, of course, surveillance interventions. All this is very important, but we need new knowledge on those areas to develop new interventions to change and to have an impact on, on the patients. Very important behavioral change and how we can achieve that and how we can create this new praxis and this new mentality is very important. So, for example, we are going to be supporting. Um, um, uh, international network of social science in these areas. That is one of our research priorities for the next years. Uh, we are going to tackle this inside our virtual research institute on antimicrobial resistance to have a group specific on social science to help us in these areas, which is crucial, you know, on prescription of antibiotics, etc. Yeah.